Hi, hi, I'm here. The last couple of days I've been doing boil tests and videos on a couple of batch stove items. This is the 22 ounce ultralight cook pot. It's a replacement for the Heine pot. And along with that I was doing tests with this batch stove's BS 1.0, just like so, plus some other tests. But one of the things that I had pointed out to me is that I didn't do a test comparing the new pot with the Heine pot. Since this is the replacement for that one, how does it work? You know, how do, how do they compare to each other? So that's what I'm going to do today. Doing, using the uh, BS 1.0 along with the Heine pot. Now, this is, this was really popular at one time. I never really got into it. But this is a very popular pot for a lot of campers because it's very light. The Heineken pot was very strong because it's got all of these formations on it. Now the black here <coughs> isn't for the absorption of heat. I did a, a demo, for I guess you'd call it, with a Boy Scout troop. And they, thought it, they felt that it would be better if I didn't use the Heine pot. So what I ended up doing was painting out the reference that it's a beer can so that I could use it. I've also had a couple of people say that I should uh, do some tests on this new pot with the burners that I used on the Heine pot. This is the coddle top stove. Uh, I did some old videos with this. I think this was like back in 2008 if I remember off the top of my head. And I'm going to have to look at this because at that time I was kind of you know, free and loose with my temperatures and stuff. I just did them at room temperature for the water temp. I'm not sure that this would hold up to the uh, 60 degree water. I think putting a cold pot on this will put this out, but I'll have to look at that. So what I'm going to do today is the BS stove with the Heine pot, like so. So let me get some water prepped, get some alcohol in the stove, and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I've got my water prepped. Let's light this. I have one fluid ounce of methanol in there, 30 milliliters. Now this is the part where I may have to put wicking or something around this, or some people suggested getting a primer, making a primer pan out of a can top and using that to help start this up. In the winter, jet stoves are a real pain to try to get lit. Now, I like to fan it a little bit. If it was outside, just the regular airflow would move the flames around somewhat so that the jets get hit by the flame. But in here, because the only wind that's in here is me, of course, talking, I fan it a little bit. This can take up to a minute to get this started, so I probably will have to put a wick on here. Come on where my water goes up. Almost. Now one thing I guess while I'm talking here, well you can't see them now, but the ribs on the Heineken can were probably one of the benefits that people liked using that. Uh, the ribs on the side would help absorb the heat as it went up through the uh, the pot and I'll show you that. Okay so there we've got our flames. Two cups of water sitting at 60 degrees. Put that on there. Start the timer and let's see where this goes. Here we are two minutes into the test. The temperature just went up to 105 degrees Fahrenheit. I think you can see here what I meant by the ribs. Here's a rib, there's a rib. So the flames are pretty much missing the pot, but because the ribs are sticking out, the flames that go up the side uh, get absorbed into those rib areas. Not only does it make the beer can a little bit stronger so it doesn't flex so easy, but it does help absorb heat because, like I said, these jets are just going right past the bottom of the pot. So let's see how long it takes for this to come to a boil. There we have two 
10. To 11. To 12 and 6 minutes 42. Okay, not a drastic amount of difference, but some. This was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, room temperature 78, humidity 53, partly cloudy outside, and the two cups came to a boil in 6 minutes 42 seconds. Using the 22 ounce cook pot from batch stoves, it took 6 minutes 3 seconds to come to a burn. To a come to a boil rather but it, at that time it ran out in six minutes 37 not sure why this is lasting longer maybe the uh, stove just didn't get as hot because all the flames are just shooting out but I'll, I'll cut here and I'll be back when this does run out okay there the flames are going going gone in 858 8.58 Okay, interesting. So, that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a boil in 6 minutes 42 seconds, and then ran out in 8 minutes 58 seconds. When I did it, the same test using the 22 ounce cook pot from batch stoves, Two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in six minutes, six minutes three seconds, and then ran out in six minutes 37. So that's, you know, like about 40 seconds faster on this one, on the uh, cook pot from batch stoves. Now the thing is, let me just shut this off. Think, sitting here thinking, waiting for this to run out. It might be because the flames were just coming up the side of the pot. It wasn't even really hitting the bottom of this pot. Just kind of right out to the edge and up the side. So there's probably very little reflective heat going back down to the stove to heat it up to make the vapors come out faster. When you have a flat bottom like this and the flames are hitting this, you're going to get some reflected heat, which is going to make this vaporize faster and produce a little bit faster. So even if the times don't you know, change, make you change from this to this, I'd still rather work with a, a nice smooth pot. Getting food out of this thing, I mean if you're all going to do is boil water, okay. But if you ever make food, oatmeal, whatever, you want a flat pot. But uh, you know, that's just my opinion. So that shows you how they compare to each other. I think this will pretty near do the test except if I go and try to do it with the, the burner that I did use on the uh, Heine pot. But I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.